trade is uh, still going on on the US dollar. As a result, the US currency is consolidating at one-year highs. The reason behind the huge demand is investors' expectations of tapering the Fed's QE program until the year end, as well as the likelihood of a rate hike next year. Such expectations are fed by positive changes in the US labor market. Fresh evidence of this improvement will be available on Friday. Let's watch a video calendar on InstaForex TV channel to find out what market moving events are due until the end of the week. Market participants will again adjust the trading decisions to the difference in rhetoric of the two influential central banks. While the Federal Reserve has sent a message about tapering monetary stimulus, the ECB is still taking the wait-and-see approach, opting to watch how the EU economy is dealing with a high inflationary pressure on its own. On October 7, the ECB Governing Council will release the wrap-up of the latest policy meeting. The report will remind traders that the monetary authorities are ready to dial down bond buying un under the pandemic emergency purchase program. Nevertheless, the volume of monthly asset purchases will be put on hold at least until March 2022. The ECB has not unveiled any timeline for stimulus visa drawal yet, so the regulator is unlikely to include this information in the policy statement that will leave investors in suspense again. Therefore, the euro-dollar pair will escalate its fall. Importantly, traders are anticipating upbeat official data on the US employment, which is due on Friday. Before that, as usual on Thursdays, traders monitor weekly updates from the US Labor Department. This time, traders will be encouraged by a decrease in the number of initial unemployment claims last week. On the flip side, the number of continuing jobless claims went up on the week ended on October 2. This could raise doubts about sustainable improvement. In fact, US employers find it difficult to hire another personnel as Americans are stoking fears about rising coronavirus rates across the country. Apparently, such doubts will be short-lived and the currency market will see a surge of dollar buying on Friday. Traders speculating in Asia-Pacific session will find an excuse to bet on the US dollar strength in light of the financial stability report by the Reserve Bank of Australia. Earlier, the regulator announced that the key policy rate would remain the same. In response, the market pushed the Audi USD pair down. Perhaps the Aussie dollar will extend its weakness. In the European trade, the US dollar will also find some support from important macroeconomic data on the largest European economy. Germany will report on its trade balance for August. At first glance, the statistics may seem negative. Germany's trade surplus is projected to contract to 16 billion euros in August from 18 billion in July. Notably, export sales expanded to the same degree as a month ago. Hence, the trade surplus went down through growing imports. This is a positive sign that both consumption and manufacturing is getting back on track in Germany. This accounts for the fact that Germany had an increase in imports. However, traders might neglect evidence that Germany's economy is picking up steam for the obvious reason. Market participants will focus on the report of major importance. During the late America session on Friday, the US Labor Department will release data on employment in the public and private sectors for September. The last report discouraged investors having locked the weakest reading for the last seven months. In August, the US economy added just 235,000 jobs instead of the projected 750,000.
Now, analysts have a more modest forecast for September. They predict 490,000 new jobs. Nevertheless, the jobless rate aged down in August to the lowest level since March 2020. And this time, economists project a further downtick to 5.1%. All in all, the market hopes to receive fresh evidence for a steady economic recovery. This will assure the Federal Reserve that the economy is ready for tapering the QE program. If the forecast comes true, the US dollar will reinforce its strength. Apart from the metrics on the US labor market, Canada will also shed light on its employment trends. However, the US non-farm payrolls are sure to take center stage. You were watching Forex Trader Calendar on Insta Forex TV channel with me, Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable deals with Insta Forex.